Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Fredonia High School Substate Action. We're live with Stormcloud Productions. Uh, Jeff Fair here with you with Mr. Chris Hinshaw on the camera tonight as we get ready for game number two tonight here at Fredonia. The first game, what can only be described as a great Kansas high school basketball game. Uh, Cherryville pulls it out at the end, 56-54. Mia Sarwinski from Galena goes for 34 points in a losing effort. It was quite a thing. She's only a junior. Uh, over at Galena, they got quite a program. As we're about three minutes from tip-off here, uh, we'll get you caught up with starting lineups as they announce them uh, over the PA here at Fredonia. We want to thank everybody who's come along for tonight's broadcast. Um, couldn't thank any more than USD 461 Yoda Shea for allowing us to get out here, get on the road, and broadcast tonight. We'll be right back with you after about three minutes. Welcome back to Fredonia, ladies and gentlemen. As the clock ticks down, we're about a minute away. We're getting ready for starting lineups. And we'll join PA announcer here as we go through our starters. I'll try to read them off for you, especially for the Columbus Titans. I imagine the same starting five for the Lady Streaks as we've seen all year. No changes there. All right, game number two, intros, get ready to head out. Katie Mooney starting for Columbus, along with Grace Major. Lily Mooney starting, 5'7 senior. Ava Herman, a sophomore starting for the Lady Titans of Columbus. And number 55, Jade Fouts, and for your Lady Blue Streaks. Samantha Stover, freshman for Neodoshe, starting tonight.
Emily Tomlinson, your senior starter. Prayer Roebuck, another freshman for the Lady Streaks. Cameron Stover. And in the middle, Kristen Stover, number 33. Same starting lineup we've seen all year. We'll get ready to go here. Winner tonight plays tomorrow night at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. here in Fredonia for a chance to go to state held at Hutchison. Last minute instructions, last minute hells. We're getting ready to go. It's Substate basketball. Roebuck and Mooney, tip one by the Lady Titans. They throw it around. Out to the wing. Ball fake, kick back out front to Mooney. Mooney long three, good. Mooney shot from the top of the key, draws nothing but net, 3-0 Lady Titans. Cameron Stover out on top to the corner, two. Kristen Stover goes inside, throws the ball up. And we'll have a tie up. Tie up, possession arrow heads towards the Blue Streaks. Quick entry pass in there to Kristen. Kristen tried to go up strong. Kristen Sover from just the top of the key. Ball up, ball fought for, kick back and bounce straight up to Emily Tomlinson in. Lady Streaks trying to throw a little bit of pressure here. Columbus breaks it, brings it down, back out top. Blue streaks in a man-to-man. -man. Tomlinson guarding out front. Fouts out front, dribbles with Chris and Stover. Sam intercepts the ball, knocks it out of bounds. 3-2, Columbus 6.58 remaining here in the first quarter. bit of audio trouble there ladies and gentlemen we're trying to get back on track here as we've got a little bit of audio trouble here. We're trying to get everything set. Still 5-2 Columbus. 5-28 here in the first quarter. Streaks back with the possession. They throw it around. Dribble over the corner, looks inside. Kristen Stover up, gets her own rebound, goes back up. She's fouled, she'll go to the line. Kristen fighting hard for that. She'll go to the line.
Team second foul on Columbus. Stover to line, steps up, ball in and out. Still trying to work through some audio here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that. Still 5-2. We, we've got pictures and we've got a basket by the Lady Streaks. 5-4 cuts that lead. Caught backcourt. Mooney brings the ball up. Kicks it over to the side. 5-4. Lady Titans. Foul called underneath. It'll be Blue Streak's ball. <laughs> Sam Stover dribbles, kicks out to Prayer Roebuck. Prayer steps inside. Elbow, jumper, good. Six five, Lady Streaks, 3.54 remaining here in the first quarter. We got a foul called. First foul, Samantha Stover called that foul, trying to speed things up. Six five, your score. Ball deflected out, top. Seven lady streaks. Emily Tomlinson comes out with the rebound. 2.49 remaining here in the first quarter. 8 7 lady, to lady blue streaks, I should say. Kick bow on top. Prayer Roebuck steps in. She dribbles around. She looks out, kicks out to. Emily DeGraw. Ball goes off. Emily DeGraw out of bounds. And we'll head back to the other end, 8-7. Timeout, Columbus, 
10-7, Lady Streaks, 2-10 remaining here in the first quarter. Three steps a line for Columbus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ten eight, Roebuck. Nearly intercepted on that pass to the corner to Cameron Stover. 10-7 here with one, excuse me, 10-8 here remaining in the first quarter. Ball intercepted. All right, I think we've got everything situated here. Back underway. 23 guarded out by Cameron Stoven. She goes around, throws it up. Samantha Stover grips the rebound down, pushes the ball up the court. Down the far sideline, dribbles back across. Toss over to Darcy Dyke. Dyke. Dyke looks inside, dribbles down, passes back out. Sam Stover pops for three. Up, ball tipped around, brought out by Mooney. Mooney hands it off to her sister. 42 seconds remaining here, first quarter. 10-8, Lady Streaks. And a kind of, looks like a tense first quarter. Everybody's got a little bit of nerves. Ball's up, short, gonna be rebounded on the backside. We've got a foul. Four-team foul here, 25 seconds. Lady Streaks looking for the push. Pass intercepted on that entry pass from Cameron as she tried to shoot it inside. Wide open three-pointer, good for the Lady Titans. Cameron Stover shoots, ball off, goes up, and that's your first quarter. 11 to 10, Columbus in a kind of tense and tight first quarter. The Lady Streaks need to work a little bit better on some interior passing as we'll get ready to head for a second quarter. Just a reminder, Neodoshe High School, home of the Neodoshe Promise Scholarship. The program is designed to enhance Neodoshe students' preparation for successfully completing their post-secondary pathway of choice. This program will help provide tuition and fee scholarship awards to qualifying Neodoshe High School graduates and also provides resources and support services necessary to make our students successful. Why Neodoshe? We're a small town with a very big promise. Thank you very much for everybody, especially Wilson Medical for providing training services for the Lady Streaks. Uh, Taylor in 
in the house tonight. You probably see her maybe in the back side of the broadcast, but she's always around for Lady Streak Athletics. One quarter in the books as we'll get ready for quarter number two. Possession arrow will go to the Titans with a one-point lead as we head over to quarter number two. Columbus throws it around the outside. Look, I was looking for that outside shot. Blocking call going to be called on Darcy Dyke. Two shots on. First shot up and good. Rebounded out by Kristen Stover. Two-point lead for the Titans. Pass back across to Darcy Dyke. Dyke goes baseline. She's going to get a bump foul out front. Ball out of bounds. Going to be foul number five on the Lady Titans. Fifth foul for the Titans. That was... Simpsons. And Kristen Stover just powers it up. Stover just got down on the block, faced up. Twelve, twelve, seven, nineteen remaining here in the second quarter. Kicked it back out. Up top, back to Mooney. Mooney on the wing, guarded by Samantha Stover. Off to Simpson. Simpson out on the top. Pull it back out. Shot up and good. Jade Fouts just stepped out. You kind of don't see your... And a foul is going to be called on that. Stover will go to the line, shooting two. Lady Streaks really trying to pound it. And about ball hard off the back iron. No good. Stover will shoot a second. Prayer Roebuck comes back in for Darcy Dyke. Second free throw, good. 14 13, Lady Titans. Ball deflected by Prayer Roebuck. Tracked down by Kristen Stover. Roebuck brings the ball up. Pitches around to Samantha Stover. Stover dribble drive across the top. Ball up. Fought forward. Right back to Sam Stover. Goes back up. Ball rebounded. Emily Tomlinson goes back up. However... We've got a foul called up top. The foul's called number 55 for clearing out on that play. That'll be her second foul. That'll be team foul number seven. We should be shooting one and one. Stover to the line. Coach Leet wanted to get a kind of an explanation on that. Stover goes to the line. Free throws up and good. That's the first. We have a tie ball game. Stover set to get the bonus. Second one up. Off. Off hard. Ball fought for. 
Ball fought for off of Emily Tomlinson. And it looks like the ball will remain. No, excuse me, ball will go over to Columbus. Columbus. Long three, good. Seventeen fourteen. Five forty five remaining here, second quarter. Columbus up by three. Hard fought. First quarter. Sam Stover from the corner. Ball game good. Sam Stover knocks down a three. We're back to seventeen. Pressure up top. Leaves him open. Same shot, same result. This time, ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Goes to the Blue Streaks. 17 all. 521 remaining here, second quarter. Fast pace kind of first half, 17 all. Stover up top dribble. Lady Titans. Will be Columbus ball. Said prayer had a hand on the out of bounds line on that. 17 all, 506 remaining here in the second. Stover with a standstill block. She just kind of held her ground, put her hands up. Kristen Silver lines it up, three. Timeout, Columbus 2017, Lady Streaks push it out to a three-point lead. 4.30 remaining here in the second quarter. We got a timeout, Columbus, and we'll take a timeout also. And we're back, Columbus to inbound the ball. Prayer, Roebuck, having pressure. They break the pressure. Ava Hansen breaks that pressure. 20 to 19. Two, three zone played. Backs it back out. No hurry here. Still up by one. Stover dribbles over. Back up front to Sam. Sam kicks over to Prayer Roebuck. Prayer Roebuck goes baseline. Up left hand. Good. Cameron Stover picks up that, trying to slide over and get that baseline or that sideline closed up. Closed up on her. She's going to be called for a foul. That will be team foul number five as we get ready to head back to play. Seven, 3.39 reminding, 22-19. Lady Titans go baseline. Stover with the rebound. Prayer Roebuck. Prayer Roebuck brings the ball down. Slows it back down. Hands it off to Sam Stover. Stover dribbles out front. Kicks it over to Cameron. Cameron Stover looking inside, out front. Out to Darcy Dyke. Dice goes inside. Short jumper. Ball crawls in and good. 
Lady Streak starting to push it out a little bit. Five point lead, 3.05 in the half. Pressure up top. Backside. Good closeout that time. Long three point by Mooney. Good. Three point shooting, keeping Columbus in this game. Alternate possession will go to the Blue Streaks. 24-22, 2.32 remaining here in the second quarter. Like I said, three-point shooting really keeping the Columbus Titans in the game. Olivia Pond coming back in for the Lady Streaks. Sam Stover checking out here with 2.32. Inbounds the ball. Turnover. Back out front, 24-22. Prayer Roebuck's gonna be called for the foul. Sixteen foul. They throw it around, step up three, hard off the iron. Mooney grabs the rebound, dribbles out. Kick back around, Mooney back around, ball slips out of the hands of number one, out of bounds to the Lady Streaks, 155, 155 remaining here in the second quarter. Darcy Dyke brings the ball down the court. Kicks it off to Prayer Roebuck. And they throw it around the outside. Prayer Roebuck rolls inside, kicks back out. Cameron Stover, pass inside. Got a foul on the play. Olivia Pond will shoot two. That's team foul number eight. Olivia will shoot two as she was in the act of shooting. First shot up and short. Twenty-four, twenty-two, one thirty-five. Pond to trip, attempt the second. Second free throw up. And in. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Turnover. Darcy Dyke goes for the ball. She's out of bounds. It'll be back to Columbus. Darcy Dyke. Harassing that inbounds pass. 25-22, 1 remaining. Back out to Mooney. Mooney attempts a three and good. 25 all, 111 here in the second quarter. Back out front, over to Dyke. And the ball knocked away. Thomason tried to dribble in, knocked away. 50 seconds remaining here, second quarter. Kick back over, she'll shoot a three, and it's off the iron. Goes long, tracked down by number 12. Stover tries to break her down. Ball knocked away, and we've got a foul. Olivia Pond will go to the line to shoot one and one. 40 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Pond just proved that she can knock them down. She needs to go up and step up with confidence, knock these down, and push this lead back out. Jade Fouts checks back in for the Lady Titans, one and one. First free throw, up and good. 
Probably a little bit of nerves on that first one. Stepping up first time, sub-state, big game. A little bit of nerves. She's knocked down the last two, 26-25 blue streaks. Second free throw up and good. Oh. And Darcy Dyke comes out of the pack. 28 seconds. Blue Streaks with the lead and the ball. Back out front. Darcy Dyke swings it around to Cameron Stover. Stover kicks it inside. Pass too tall for Kristen. 14 seconds. And around the horn, they throw it. Long three-pointer. And halftime is here, ladies and gentlemen. 27-25. Pretty tight first half. Both teams a little bit tight. Three-point shooting definitely keeping Columbus in the game. We'll reset, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned for ladies Blue Streak Basketball, courtesy of USD 461 and Storm Cloud Productions.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half, 3A girls sub-state. Winner takes on Cherryville tomorrow night with a chance to head to Hutchison for the state basketball tournament. As we begin the second half here, Columbus Titans will have possession. Really three points shooting the difference in that first half. Uh, the Mooney sisters combining for five three-pointers, 15 points, keeping them in the game. See what Coach Pierce has dialed up. See if he can, he's kind of extended out a little bit. Ball up and down for the Titans. Katie Simpson. Back out front to Prayer Roebuck, 27 all, third quarter. They're really sandwiching Kristen Stover now. Should give Roebuck a chance to do some magic if she wants to. Long skip pass to Sam Stover. Kick back out, Cameron over to Prayer Roebuck. Roebuck up, ball long, but it's gonna go out of bounds off the Titans. Shot no good for the Lady Streaks as we head back. Mooney kicks back out to number two, Grace Major. Major off to Lords. Hard jumper in the hard way. 29-27, Titans with a quick 4.652 third quarter. Short floater, fought for, kick back, Prayer Roebuck up and in. Just tough rebounded by the Lady Street, taking the ball live, 29 all. Turnover up top for the Titans. Streaks back down, 617 remaining. Kick back out to Roebuck. Roebuck looking in. Refs kind of letting him play out front. Cameron Stover up top to Sam. Sam over to Prayer Roebuck. Roebuck looks in, goes to the middle, kicks over to, kicks back in, up to Kristen Stover. She goes up, she's fouled, she'll go to the line. Blue Streaks making that effort to really pound the ball inside. They switch side to side, got the ball back inside. Stover will go to the line, shooting two. First foul. First shot, good. Second on the way. Second shot up and nothing but twine for the junior. Emily Tomlinson just trying to get out of the way, kind of ran up the backside of the Columbus Titan player. She'll be called for a foul. Her. Out front, 31-29, ball fake, up, shot, good. <laughs> 31 all, 535 remaining here in the third quarter. Pushed in, Kostover up and in. Beat two defenders on that one, good pass. Moody brings the ball out, pulls it back up. Runner. Good box out, Cameron Stover. Kicks it off to her sister, Sam. Blue Streaks look to push. Sam takes it to the corner, back out front to Kristen. Kristen looks inside, excuse me, Sam. Oh, ball batted away. And we have a foul. Foul called on the play. It'll be ball out of bounds, ball out of bounds. Foul called on Sam Stover. Team second. Darcy Dyke in for Sam Stover. Stover's second foul. Off a of Columbus Titan foot, back over to the Lady Streaks. Two point lead, 33 31, 459, third quarter. 
Darcy Dyke brings it up. Over to Prayer Roebuck. Roebuck skips to the corner. Long skip pass. Skip back in. Ball going to be deflected away. Ball still belongs to the Lady Streaks. They're trying to make that effort to skip over to get the ball back inside quick. 33-31. Prayer Roebuck up. Ball batted around. Back out to Cameron Stover. Pressured on the play. Foul on number 23, Katie Simpson. Team's second foul. Long shot, good. Three-pointer for 36-31. Turnover on the play. Momentum starting to turn a little bit here for the Lady Streaks. 36-31. 36-31, 4-27. Roebuck up top, kicks over to Darcy Dyke. Dyke goes baseline, looks inside, kicks it back out to Roebuck. Roebuck still looking, pivots it back out to Darcy Dyke. Will reset, come back over to Stover. Camera dribbles to the corner, looks back out to Darcy Dyke. Long skip over to Prayer Roebuck. Roebuck left-handed dribble. She's fouled on the play. Third team foul. Roebuck dribbles it out front. 4-0-1 in the third quarter. Back over to Darcy Dyke. Looking inside. High post knocked away. Kayla Mooney. Free throw. Lords up. Rebound off pair Roebuck. Roebuck looks to run. She comes down the left side. 3.30, 3.30 in the third. Kicked in, Tomlinson up, in and out. Prayer Roebuck steps on the end line. Great rebound by Roebuck. She got in there but kind of got caught too far underneath. She steps out of bounds. Blue Streaks starting to push the pressure out a little bit more. Sam's playing kind of prevent defense. She's really on Kyra Mooney. Excuse me, Katie Mooney. Over to her sister. Ball's a little short. Nobody on the backside to rebound. And Kristen Stover had to come over and commit the foul. First personal on Kristen Teens third. First shot up and good. Ava. Ava Harmon on the line shooting two. First shot good, 36-32, 3-0-3. Second shot up and good. Darcy Dyke up, ball's a little short. Fights for the rebound. It's gonna be off of Columbus, gonna to belong to Neo Shea. 249, 36, 33. The score. Roebuck eyes a three. Over to Dyke. Darcy Dyke back over to Sam Stover. Stover's looking back up front. Stover, long three off the iron. Going to be rebounded. Ball fought for. Zoe drives back in there with a rebound. She goes to the floor with it, comes out. Nobody's going to take it from Zoe once she has it. I dare him. 
Roebuck goes up, she's fouled, she'll go to the line, shoots two. Inbound, inbounds play, quick inbounds. Foul's gonna be on Jade Fouts, their center. Her fourth, team, her fourth personal foul. Roebuck shoots two. First free throw on its way, good. Thirty-seven, thirty-four, Lady Streaks. That could be a deciding moment. That was kind of the inside that power that the Titans had. Roebuck second free throw on its way off the rim, fought for. Roebuck chases it down, goes back up and in. Roebuck chases down her own rebound. Timeout. Columbus thirty-nine, thirty-three, two twenty-one remaining here in the third quarter. You're on Stormcloud Productions, home of Lady Blue Streak Basketball. Once again, as we come out of time up, special thanks to Wilson Medical for providing training services for the Blue Streaks and Lady Blue Streaks. Also, thank you to USD 461 for allowing us the platform to bring you Lady Blue Streak Basketball here on Storm Cloud Productions. Just remember this is a broadcast sponsored and kind of dictated by Keisha, Kansas State High School Athletic Association. Thank you for letting us come along, Keisha. We appreciate everything that you do. Titans having a hard time inbounding. Darcy Dyke turns the dribbler. Lady Streaks really now starting. They're going to have a foul in the backcourt on Darcy Dyke, kind of a kind of a ticky tack foul in the backcourt. That will be team foul number four against the Lady Streaks. You never want to see it kind of come down to free throw shooting, but four fouls apiece. And Columbus inbounds. Columbus not being able to get the three-point shot off this corner. You can really see how the Blue Streaks have extended that defense out. Zoe steps out. Prayer Roebuck. Zoe drives back. It's going to be called for a foul on that three point. She kind of closed out on the ball and just kept going. Be three shots. Three shots called. Tough break for Zoe. Always plays hard. First free throw on its way and off the back iron. Still 39-33, two minutes, two minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Second shot on its way, it's off as well. Third shot on the way so far. Blue Streak's not been hurt. Third one is a charm. One out of three. Still 39-34, two minutes left to go. Pass intercepted on that end, that play, trying to go into Drysback, who had a good post position. Blue Streaks playing some tough defense. Drives back. Close guarding by Zoe. Zoe's going to get the foul that time. 128. Sixth team foul. Second foul on Zoe. She spilled a few minutes there for Emily Tomlinson. Tomlinson comes back in. Titans back in bounds. They toss it around. Emily kind of got caught in no man's land. She didn't know whether to step in or foul. Will be a foul, and that will be team foul number seven against the streaks. However, it was a shooting foul. 
They'll go to the line to shoot two. First shot on its way. It is off the iron, no good. Some quick fouls here, but none of them have really, we've lost one point off three fouls. Second shot up, it is good. 39-35, still a four-point advantage. Four-point advantage. Four. And we have a foul up front. Foul up front on Lily Mooney. Beat team foul number five. Second personal foul on Lily Mooney. One oh three, thirty nine, thirty five. They're going to call a foul. She has lost her footing, but they're going to call a foul. That was a tough call there. But first free throws up and no good. Rebound on the floor. It's still open. There was an inadvertent whistle. We'll go to that. It should be. Ball will be awarded to Columbus. I don't know, inadvertent whistle to go to the inbounds play. They still have possession. Shot up, long, fought for. Thirty-two seconds, thirty-two seconds, still thirty-nine thirty-five. Four point lead. Lady Streaks need a stop here. And a foul on number 23, who gets a technical foul. Still 39-35. She got called for the foul, kind of came back, and referee trying to, I think, tighten the game back up a little bit, really trying to send a message, you know, trying to get it back underneath them. So, was a six-team foul, so it won't be a one-and-one -one shot. However, it will be a technical foul. Kristen Stover's going to step to the line. She'll shoot two. It will be possession. Yoda Shea coming out of. The free throw, shot for shot up, off the iron. Got to nail these down the stretch. 39-35, 27 seconds, third quarter. Second shot on the way. And off as well. Still be blue, no good. Second shot up. And off the iron, no good. We head to the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The other shade, 39. The Columbus Titans, 35. One more quarter to decide the final participant in tomorrow's night. 3A state sub-state championship here at Fredonia. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Fredonia High School, side of tonight's 3A Substate semifinal game. Your lady streaks up 39-35. Eight minutes, eight minutes to play. As Columbus will have possession. They will take on the winner of the first game of the night, Cherryville. Oh. Columbus gets it back underneath the basket and good. 39-37. Roebuck up, hard off the line. Rebound out of there. Will be a held ball. Possession will go to Neo Shea. Darcy Dyke crashing the boards, comes in from kind of the top of the key and really just grabs that rebound. Under, underneath. And Titans push the ball up quickly. 39-37, seven minutes, seven minutes remaining here, quarter number four. We'll say that the Titans are without their sophomore Katie Simpson as she picked up the foul in the quick technical. That was five. Kind of went unnoticed there. Cameron Stover rips down the rebound. Kick back out. 636. Knocked out of bounds. Be Blue streak ball out of bounds, 39-37. Out to Roebuck, Roebuck, top of the key, long shot, good. Four point advantage still for the Lady Streaks. Shot up, off the backboard. Back shot goes back up, off the backboard. Hard fought rebound, Darcy Dyke. Not shying away. It'll be Columbus ball out of bounds, 41-37. Here in the fourth quarter. Corner, shot, long. Rebound by Cameron Stover. Darcy Dyke looks to push the ball. Blue streaks up, four, five, 55 remaining. They kick it around. Roebuck, skip pass over to Cameron Stover. Stover looks inside, back over to Roebuck. Roebuck looking to go left, step back, shot up and good. Back to that six-point advantage. That's been the largest lead of the night for the Blue Streaks. Foul's going to be on Darcy Dyke. Hard nose was going after the ball. That will be a one-and-one. One. Putting number four, Lily Mooney, the senior, on the line. Mooney stepped in the line to shoot. One on one. First shot. Up and good. Five point advantage for the Lady Streak. Second shot up and off. Rebound. Blue Streaks up five.
Ball's going to be lost out of bounds. Stover kind of went in, looking to draw foul, did not get the call. And ball's going to be turned over right below us down the student section. Good student section here tonight. So good we can't see half the plays down on this side of the court, but that's just the way it runs. Stover bringing the ball up. Nobody picking her up. She brings it up. Tosses back across the court to Samantha Stover. Out uh, to Roebuck. Roebuck on the top. 4.55. Five-point advantage for the Lady Streaks. Almost a steal. And... Coach Pierce calls a timeout. We'll have timeout on the floor. 445. Lady Streaks holding on to a 43-38 lead here at Fredonia. Class 3A substate action. Part of Keisha's big weekend leading to next week's big dance in Hutchison. As we come back to play, Blue Streaks ball out of bounds, out of bounds as they inbound it. They tried a quick inbounds play to Kristen Stover. We'll go to the other end to shoot one and one. Not really how you wanted to. Oh, we are shooting two from here on out. That was the team's 10th foul. First shot up, no good. 440 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Blue Streaks holding on to a five point lead. Second shot on the way, good. Forty-three thirty-nine. Columbus is gonna come out, gonna shoot man. Cameron Stover. Long rebound, fought for by Prayer Roebuck. She goes up, fought for, she's gonna be fouled. She's going to the line and that may be all for Jade Fouts. Prayer Roebuck goes to the line, shooting two. Correction, the foul's on number four. It's gonna be on Lily Mooney, first shot up for Roebuck, good. 44-39, 4-24. Need to make your free throws down the stretch. Second shot on the way, good. Stover gonna be called with the foul. Stover will be called for the foul. Katie Rooney, or excuse me, Katie Mooney will go to the line to shoot two. Definitely a lot of contact on that. Referees had to step in there real quick, make sure that Mooney was all right. Still a six-point advantage for the Blue Streaks. They look like they want to push it past six, but they just can never get over that, that hump. Six has been the largest lead, and we hold it with... About four minutes left. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Really, the Lady Streaks have done a good job. We were talking about it at halftime. They've 
run the Titans off the three-point line. But now we got to make sure we keep them off the foul line. That's got to one thing to do. Mooney steps up. She will shoot two. First shot. Rolls around and in. Forty-five, forty-one. Four minutes, four minutes remaining. Possession arrow goes to the Blue Streaks. Mooney tried to drive. She just drove right into Emily Tomlinson. Tomlinson just said, thank you very much, held the ball. Alternate possession goes to the Lady Streaks. Lady Streaks could really use a bucket right here. They just need a hard-fought bucket, maybe even a three-pointer. Go inside. Stover backs in, goes up, still short, fought for, goes back up, brought back out. Sam. Sam Stover, top of the key. Bang! Big three-pointer for Sam Stover from the top of the key. Pushes it out to seven. 321, 321 remaining. Stolen, ball back over, pick kicked around, ball goes up, rebounded, ripped out of there by Kristen Stover. Blue Streaks looking to run. Coach Purse saying, pull it out, pull it out, let's run some clock. Three minutes up, seven. Emily Tomlinson dribbles in, stumbles, goes down. Cameron Stover dribbles in, dribbles back out, out to Sam Stover. 250. Nobody wanting to come out. They don't come out and guard you. They are running a box and one. You can see they're chasing Prayer Roebuck around. So just go find a corner. No sense to shooting, but Sam goes up. She's going to go up. And Columbus rebounds, comes down 229. Blue Streaks ran about 40 seconds off the clock. Mooney goes in, steps back out, kicks back out front, long shot, hard, rebound, Kristen Stover. Stover kicks back off to Sam Stover, 2.15 remaining. Out to Cameron, Cameron's gonna bring the ball out. Pass up top to Kristen. Nobody guarding Kristen, just hold the ball. Hold the ball out front, run some clock. Timeout. Coach Pierce calls timeout. There was a bump. Kristen went down, maintained the dribble, held her composure. 146. 146 remaining. Lady streaks up 48 41. Winner takes on Cherryville with a chance to go to state. When you begin the year, that's your end dream, going to state. Blue streaks a minute 29 away from a chance to play for that goal. Blue Streaks fans on their feet here at Fredonia. If the Blue Streaks can just kind of stay away from the turnovers, hold on to the ball, Make a few free throws. Seven points is the largest lead of the night. 48-41, 146. 146 remaining here. Titans are playing box and one on Prayer Roebuck. They've decided they're going to take her out of the equation. However, they inbound the ball to her. Hand check, hand check all the way out front. Over to Sam Stover. Sam Stover dribbling out front. She's fouled, she'll go to the line. 136, Samantha Stover steps to the line. She'll shoot one and one. We'll be shooting two fouls the rest of the way out. Your 
Sam Stover on the line, first shot, up hard. Emily Tomlinson fights hard for the rebound. It'll be out of bounds off Columbus. Will be bonus the most of the way out here. Sam Stover set to trigger. Kicks it right back in to Kristen. Kristen goes up, and we have a tie-up. Possession arrow to the Lady Titans. Forty-eight, forty-one, one twenty-nine. And a left-handed runner up. 48-43, 110. And Cameron Stover will be fouled up front. We'll be shooting two the rest of the way out. 48-43, 103 remaining. Make some free throws. Play for another day. Cameron will shoot two. First shot up and a out. Rimmed in and out. Got to be ready for the quick rebound. No fouls. Play good defense at the other end. Second shot up and it's good. Six point advantage as they dribble the ball up the court. Ball out of bounds off of Sam Stover's throw. Lords up. And back in, long three. It's going to be short, rebound. Kristen Stover fights for the rebound. Over to Prayer Roebuck. 42 seconds, 42 seconds. Long cross court pass. And a layup, good. Timeout on the floor, 49-45. Don't go anywhere, 34.7 seconds. 34.7, 49-45, Lady Streaks. Kind of that, tried to go for the home run, cross court pass, intercepted, ball brought back over. They didn't compound it, didn't reach in for the foul, but still, 49-45. Titans will come out with pressure. Student section all fired up for these final final few seconds. Inbound to Darcy Dyke. Cross back to Prayer Roebuck. Roebuck brings it up. Good, strong dribble. It's going to go a little bit long. 26 seconds, 49-45. It'll be Titans basketball, the length of the court. Just play some good defense here. Corner shot. In and good, 49-47. Quick timeout by Columbus. 14.1, 49-47. Just gotta take care of the ball. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
as we come back to action. 49, 47, 14.1 seconds. Just need to inbound the ball, secure it. Go, go long, go long. Quick foul on the inbound. Samantha Stover will go to the other end. No time runs off the clock. 49-47, Samantha Stover will go to the other end to shoot two. No, they didn't. There's got to be something to come off. It, it. Okay, I'll take that. They went over, looked at the clock, said the ball touched somebody, but no time went off the clock, so they elect to take one second off the clock, 13.1. Samantha Stover to shoot two. First shot, up. And short. If you do rebound, make sure you don't foul on the rebound. Second shot up and good. Three points, three points, the margin. 10 seconds down. Losing track of the three-point shooters. It's up, it's off. Rebound, Prayer Roebuck, she's fouled. 0.9 seconds remaining. Prayer Roebuck will go to the other end to shoot two. Lady Streaks up three. Hard fought game. When you saw Galena play earlier tonight, you understand why the CNC League is one of the toughest leagues in Kansas with Colgan, Frontenac, Galena, tough, hard-fought game. Prayer Roebuck, she can sink a free throw here. Sets up the third match of the year against the Cherryville Chargers. They have split on the season. Cherryville defeated Yodashe at home, but lost at Cherryville. They split on the road. First free throw up and good. Four-point bulge here with .9 seconds. Everybody off the line. Second free throw up and good. Roebuck with the 19, game over. Lady Blue Streaks will play for a shot to go to state. Final score, 52-47. Thank you very much for watching on Storm Cloud Productions, part of USD 461's effort, Big Towns, I guess small town, big promise, big ideas, one more game here in Fredonia. They play for a shot to go to state. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night. 7 o'clock tip-off, 7 o'clock tip-off tomorrow night. Boys game will take place before. And we'll be here with Storm Cloud Productions, part of USD 461. Thank you very much. Good evening.